Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite cybersecurity gadgets of 2024. Right here are a bunch of gadgets that I fell in love with this year and I have some gadgets in the background that are not my favorite gadgets but they're good honorable mentions but these devices are really awesome and I'm going to show you and talk to you a little bit about each and every one of them. So to start out I'm going to talk about the Diabolic Drive. This is a new generation bad USB. This pretends to be a flash drive on your computer and the computer thinks it is a flash drive and you can store things to it. But with the flick of a switch, this becomes malicious and you can send payloads over a Wi-Fi connection. A lot of devices can do it, but they don't have the stealth tech that this device has. So the Diabot drive is probably one of my favorite bad USBs out there because it just, it does one job super well. It does it so stealthy. It's a perfect example of a why you shouldn't plug anything in your computer if you don't know what it is. Speaking of that, let's move on to this device. So this is the Kill USB. So this device sends a devastating shock. Um, I have plenty of videos on my channel of me destroying gadgets and computers with this thing. It shocks it, fries it. I think you have a fire at one point. This device, you plug in a computer or a device and just completely annihilates it. So another good example of things you shouldn't plug in the computer that safety is an illusion helps teach people about vulnerabilities about computers and stuff like that it's perfect for that so the diabolic drive as well as this combined are the perfect examples of one can destroy your computer and one can compromise your computer really like these two devices here uh i don't know i forgot i don't know how this got in there, but this is just a mouse jiggle you plug that you plug that into a computer it, it leaves the mouse uh moving just a, it makes the mouse move just a little bit so this way the computer never sleeps so it can, you can gain access to the computer uh the ble shark nano this is a prototype device this isn't completely out yet i really like this thing because it's the best beginner friendly gadget i've ever experienced and held and used uh, i work i talk and work and test this device uh with iffy shark tech the, the people that made this thing i love it i keep giving them for suggestions and this thing, device is only going to get better over time I really do recommend getting this device. I've been loving this device. This is my new daily driver. I put away my Flipper Zero and I carry this around with me every day now. So that's how much I like it. So that's my new daily driver. Just recently I picked up this guy right here. This is the Wi-Fi Nugget. That's the shell of it. Um, this thing does a lot of Wi-Fi pen testing. It kind of reminds you of the D-Author V3, but this one you can do a lot more projects than that one. So like this one I've set up so when a bad wi-fi or some kind of malicious device that's trying to attack wi-fi around me or wi-fi pineapple it will alert me it will turn to like a little cat face that looks like it's sad or dead or whatever and it turns red to let me know hey there's something going on around you it's my first like defensive device i've ever had and i like it because of the fact that it's so flexible and i can do so much more than like a de-author like this is great uh if you want to start getting into like hey like modding things and working with leds and coding like this this is a great device and i can't wait to get more into this because of that um and the person that designed this is awesome and their youtube channel helped expire me when i first was starting out so definitely go check them out i think the name is cody uh highly recommend that device so then we got the t enable so i love lily go no, there's no there's no there's no hiding it i love lily go um i i get a lot of stuff from them they send me devices for testing i really like them for their uh, mesh tastic gadgets for my off grid communication stuff, but that's not really a cyber security gadget, but more or less off grid communication stuff. This is a product they make as well. This is the T enabled. This device is supposed to rival the Flipper Zero, and it already has a lot of features on it because I use the Bruce firmware. And uh, it's it's the beta, so it's not like completely like it's tested fully yet, and it's a little buggy, but it works. If for fifty dollars and less, you could have a Flipper Flipper Zero equivalent. So really do love this device this year and uh i just picked this one up too and i'm still scared to use this thing fully is the uh h4m this device uh does a lot of radio pen testing as well as uh bluetooth and it does a bunch of other things uh this has a lot more modifications than the previous generations this thing is just well it seems like this is the fringe project this is the fourth gen of the port hacker rfs here I really do like this device. I'm learning more about it. I have to be more careful because this is a device I could do illegal things very easily with. And I don't want to do that. So right now I'm just sticking to like receiving and like gathering and looking at plain information as they drive by. Like this, this, this thing can do a lot. I haven't even scratched the surface of what this thing can do. And it just, it's one of the coolest feeling devices. When I hold this thing, like I, it feels so cool. I just highly recommend this one because of the fact that it's, well, it's finished like, this is the again the fourth generation like this is brand new so anything brand new like it's like ah oh, you get a little bit of like a feeling about it like this has been around for a while 
and uh, they really refine this product. So I really do like it because of that. And uh, I will be getting into this more in my channel next year when I do off-grid communication stuff and uh, cybersecurity, radio pen testing. Like I'm going to be using this device heavily in the future. Um, just I'm really going to be careful with this. I don't want to do anything illegal. So I got to be very careful. This device, again, is very easy to do bad, illegal things with. And the Wi-Fi Pineapple. Love the Wi-Fi Pineapple. I'm, I have a networking background, and I love how easy this device is to use. I mean, you could be a beginner and with very slight knowledge be able to do pen testing and auditing, and you can even help write. I think can help you write reports and things that you find. Like, it's a really great device. And uh, when you plug this in, you can also like do co good content with it because you can hide, change all the SSIDs to like fruit. And uh, it's good for you want to make YouTube videos too, which I will be doing in the future as well. So this you're going to see a lot this year coming in 2025. This device you're going to see a lot of. These devices are all you're going to be seeing a lot of. But I really recommend it because how easy to use it is and how uh, how just nice and well put together. Hack5 makes some amazing products. And uh, I'm really glad to have this one. Uh, I can't wait to get more in depth with it over the years to come. So these are my favorite gadgets of 2024. Again, I highly recommend everything you see here to start out with as well and uh go check out my other video that i made for like the best beginner stuff uh this you can see a little bit more about some of the gadgets behind me there uh, i know you don't see the flipper zero in this mix as i'm constantly trying to find alternatives to the flipper zero because from that from what the community tells me it's really hard to get and i'm looking for accessible and easy things for people to learn and use on my channel so hope you guys have a good day and i hope you like this video please leave a like and subscribe remember safety is an illusion i'll see you in the next video